Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate and test the REST API with the PUT method. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can test and automate the API with the POST method. So PUT is pretty much similar because we are now updating the record which we created using the POST call. So uh, simply let me go to this particular website. So let me copy the URL from here and go to the browser here and paste this here and you need to scroll down a bit here and here you see that we have a put call okay just click on the guides here and now we need to scroll down here so for the post we we created a resource we created a record and if we scroll down so now we will be updating a resource and here you see that the method is put and here you see that with the url we are sending the method and the body as well including the headers so your request will consist of your method your body and header in the case of put as well okay so now uh, let me go to the visual studio code here and let me create a new file here and let me name it as rust underscore api underscore put dot spec dot js and the first thing is that we need to import the test and expect from the playwright so copy this one and paste it here and now the first thing is that we need to create a test so test name of test so i'm naming it as update a new post and it will be followed by async and so in the async now we will be passing a fixture known as request so this test will be focusing on the request okay so that's why we will be using a fixture known as request okay and this will be followed by a arrow function and now this is a body of our test so the first thing is that we need a url so const i am taking a variable here as response which is equals to await now using a fixture called as request so request dot so you see that we have a different methods here available so just go to the put here and inside this one we need to provide a url so if i go back to the browser here so you see that so this is a request here so this is a url so let me copy this one from here and paste it here okay now what i need to do so because our requests should consist of the url headers and the data right so once we have this one so inside this one comma and then the curly braces okay so because our request will be consist of the url headers and the data so now headers so let me go back to the website here and let me copy these uh, header section completely from here so let me copy this one and let me go back here and provide the headers and now the second thing is that we need to provide a data here okay so i'm naming it as data colon and let me go back again and let me copy this complete set of data from here so copy this one and go back here and provide this data okay and in the end we need to provide a comma so that it will be terminated here and this one okay so now uh let's save this one and we are getting allow to set post data for the request if the data parameter is an object it will serialize to the json string okay no worries so simply what i'll do is that let me put a comma here here as well so all the comma all the things here and we are good to go so simply uh, again it says the token unexpected token so here data column save this one and now the error is gone so because there was a space there and now 
our request is ready to send. And now what we need to do is that we need to assert the values. So the first thing is that assert the status code. So simply here, go here and in response because we have all the details here. Okay. So from response, because response contains all the data. So response dot, you see that we have body, we have response headers, we have status. So we are getting all the information in this particular response. So simply I will go with the status method here. And what I'll do is that to, to be, so status to be, for example, I'm giving it as 201 and save this one here. And now let's run this one. So the name of the test is update a new post. So let me run this one. And because this should fail here, uh, because the status code will be 200, right? So you see that our session got failed, request was successful, and the request received 200, and we were expected to 01. So if I go back here, and if I change it to 200 here, so what will happen here is that now this time it should pass. So simply I will go here and run this one again and this time our test should pass. So uh, you see our test is passed now. Now the second thing is that we need to assert the, the response. Okay. And so for this one, what I'll do here is that I'll create one variable and I will call it as response data. And this response data is equals to await response. So from response, now I need basically a body. So you can go with the body and you can go with this JSON method here because it will return the JSON representation of the response body. So we don't need to parse it. Okay. So simply go with this one. Now you have the response and simply you will say expect. So let's try to you know, assert the response title. So go here and response data dot. So you will see that we have title and title dot to be. And so let's say that uh, the title here is basically, let me copy this one and the title to be, and here we need to provide a title. And I am adding some more factors here. And now let's run this one here and see what happens. So in our previous tutorial, we also see that how we can execute uh, the, the API in, in the postman to compare how things are working. So here you see that we were expected this and this is what we have received in the response. So that's why it's getting failed here. And simply if I go here and remove this part now uh, this is the title so this is uh, what we should get now and if i execute this one here so you will see that this time it should pass because now the expected and actual result is same okay so we have asserted the status code we have also asserted the response body parameter and now let's try to assert the response headers so simply const so I will name it as response headers and the response headers is equals to response. Okay. Dot headers. So from this, because response contain all the things. So now we are extracting the headers, just like we have extracted the body. Okay. And simply then again, expect response headers and let's assert the content type here. So content dash tie and the content type dot to contain and it should contain what it should contain. So basically in the response, we will be getting this content type. So let me copy this part from here and let me paste here. So if you don't uh, see how things are working, so simply you need to go to the postman here and let me execute this one for you so that you can understand what we are talking about here so uh, go here click on new request set the method to the put and simply go here and 
copy this complete URL from here and paste it here and in the body section go to the raw select JSON and now go back to your Visual Studio code here so this is the body we are sending so let me copy this one from here and paste it here but you see that we are facing some errors because in JSON these parameter values needs to be in double quotes okay so change this thing here here and when we're talking about the string value also put string values in double quote here the string values and now what we need to do is that we need one comma here and besides that actually we don't need a comma here and from here so it should work yeah it's working now so we have the url we have a method set we have the body set just click on the send here and you see that our request is success we got 200 status code here we got this response body and so from body we are asserting this value and also from headers you see that if i scroll up so this is the headers we are getting and this is a key which is content type and in content type we need to assure that we are getting application slash json here so this is what we are trying to assert here and let me go back here and this one so if i change it to something different let me save this one let's run this one again and see what happens now so it should fail because the there's a difference between expected and the actual value so this is a substring we are looking for and this is the main string we got which doesn't match doesn't con because this particular string doesn't contain this value so that's why it's getting failed so if i go back here and change this to this one and save this one and now if i run this one here and this time it should work because now the expected value and expected value is same. So you see that the value is passed now. So that's how you can actually test the REST API with the put method. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.